Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 83 for learning MMS system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to work on the popular course section in the home page and we will also see that uh, how we can uh, create the popular course uh, separate page for that. Okay, and how we will fetch that. And uh, in our previous video, we have worked on the quiz result section. Okay, so you can check that how the teacher can how teacher can uh, create quiz how student will attempt this is a multiple uh, you know uh, choice question okay so you can see that and uh, we have lot of thing so that it it has uh, 82 videos in this list okay so now we are going to work on the popular courses so let's uh, start to do that so I have already created the functionality I'm going to just explain that that how we can get this so first of all let's uh, go for the home page so in the home page uh, after the uh, all course section uh, latest course section we have this popular course popular course means the course uh, student is rating for the course and uh, which has a average rating most average rating we will fetch that course in the first and according to that okay so it's a descending order of average rating right now we need to fetch this uh, data according to the group by course id right and with the order by average rating descending so for this we have created here the functionality this is same as uh, we are fetching for the four course and here we have a popular course uh, defining the url with popular parameter uri parameter and this will represent here the popular courses here right popular courses uh, here we are so course rating if we go to the view in the course rating here we have a, if popular in the url then I am attempting the uh, you know raw query okay because uh, if we attempt the Django ORM with a group by then it will fetch the specific column result right but we need all the data so that this is the one option and the second one uh, this is the one reason the second reason is we also want to learn the core of the query so that I am uh, you know uh, I am attempting this uh, 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 raw query so that we can understand the how raw query will work okay so here i am uh, defining here select star average rating and define the alias from the course rating this is the app name and then underscore and then the model name so inner join uh, with the course rating table and the course with the id of the course id right and then order by average rating descending limit four okay this is for home page because we are calling this from home and group by course id okay so it will fetch the result with the ra method it will fetch the result and it will show here with the here you can see that with the popular course we have created already a state for this okay so we are fetching the result just the same variable we have just renamed uh, change uh, created the new with new name right so it will fetch all the courses here right so it will fetch there here you can see that flask four out of five four out of five three out of five one of out of five okay so it will show here only the course which are exist in the course rating table it means only course will show here which has rated right if no rated then do, no course will show in this uh, here okay so now it's time to uh, we, uh, okay so with the same way with the same way we are fetching the all courses we will fetch the popular course in the separate page so when we it should when we click on this this will show the popular courses here okay so with the same method but one thing will change so we have created this popular course page uh, in the starting and now we are fetching this data but the change is we are calling the same url but with the all parameter so when we go to the uh, view and if all is in the list then we are just removing the limits so it will fetch all the data okay so it, will, it is fetching all the data which has a uh, rating which course has rating it will fetch all the data right currently pagination is not working this is static but we will do that right so this is all about the popular course the main thing we need to focus on that how we are running the query how we are building the logic right and of course uh, we need to see that how we are fetching the data here if you knew if you are new to react js then we need to uh, focus on this that how we are uh, running this map function and how we are fetching the data this is relational data because the, we are fetching from the course rating so for the row and then course from and from the course we are fetching this featured image right and uh, in the serializer i have uh, explained the depth 
okay so if you are fetching the relational data then you have to define the depth right so this is all about popular course right so i hope you understand all the things okay and if you understand all the things please like this video okay and share this video with your friends okay who wants to learn django with react js okay and uh, subscribe this channel join this channel okay and uh, when you join this channel you will get uh, uh, projects according to the uh, membership okay membership type and uh, i think we have a three membership type okay so you can check that and then uh, you can follow me on github i am uploading all the source code on github so uh, after your support you can support me with a small donation or whatever you want and uh, i'll give you the access of this source code and then you can uh, uh, check this uh, source code and if you want to implement anything then you can easily implement right you can also follow me on instagram and facebook i'm not regularly updating but uh, if you if you are uh you can follow me uh i will mostly i will uh occasionally i'll update this okay but uh, yes you can follow me on the in, in this social uh medias and you can also okay you can support me with the razor pay and paypal okay so yes uh, this is all about the popular course and this is all about the of course the promotion so thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video we will work on the views okay so when we click on this uh, uh, particular course it will show the detail so we will count this as a view okay and every time user is logged in or not we will count the view so that we can analyze our data that which course has most views right so thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you are learning so much from this series this series has uh, i mean 83 videos so this is a uh, very uh, you know great achievement for me okay so thank you so much for watching this video let's uh, meet in the next video thank you